Hi, this is Jim Janesey. In this first video dealing with Java, I'm going to show you how to locate the Java compiler on the web and download it from Oracle Corporation, which distributes it for free. Here's the URL where Oracle distributes Java. This long URL can be entered on the URL line of your browser, but an easier way to get to the same place is to enter this quick link. I've created this as a convenience for you so that by entering just these characters on your browser's URL line, you'll be redirected to this longer URL. So let's go find the Java compiler and download and install it. To start doing that, I'm going to go here and enter the quick link q123.us slash get Java all one word. And I redirect to the location on the Oracle site where I can find Java SE, which is Java Standard Edition. That's what we're going to be looking for. And you can go here and click this first entry for Java SE. On this page, if you click this button or you click this button, you'll get the Java Software Developers Kit. You don't want to click this button because the Java runtime environment is what's installed just simply to run Java programs, but it doesn't give you the ability to develop them. So I'm going to click on this button. And now things get a little bit more complicated because you have to pick out the version of Windows that you're using. The 64-bit version of Windows is what you want if you're running Windows 7 64-bit or Windows XP 64-bit. Most commonly XP runs 32-bit which would be this 86 series of processors. You'll notice there's a slight size difference. You do have to have the correct version. Since I'm running Windows 7, the 64-bit version which is commonly distributed with new laptops and desktops, I'm going to click this one. And notice I've made a boo-boo here. There's a software licensing agreement that I have to agree to before I can download this. This branches me back to this page from which I must select this. And here what I had overlooked was clicking this button. And you'll notice this type changes just a little bit. Now I can click on this and it should download. What I want to do here is to save this. Now this is going to be quite a lengthy download. If I click the Save button, I have to decide where on my computer I want this to be. And I would suggest that you establish, if you haven't already, a folder named Downloads into which you can put this. This download will take a while because it is 67 megabytes, or, or in the case of the 32-bit version, 76 megabytes. For the moment, though, I'm going to put this in a different folder, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Here's the way the download starts. My connection to the Internet is not particularly fast, and it's going to take about four minutes for this to download. Now, with the download complete, I can close out of this on the web. And let's find that download folder, and let's find in it what I was looking for here was this JDK, for the x64, that is the Windows 64-bit version. And it's an executable file. I'm going to right mouse click it and open it. And here we have the wizard that will guide us through this installation process for the Java Software Developers Kit. It's fine just to breeze right by this and have the development tools be installed. And after about two or three minutes, we get this message that the SDK has been successfully installed. You can complete this product registration information if you want to. I just clicked Finish, however. And now we should be able to run Java programs. If I wanted to register this product, I would do this. I'm just closing out of that, however. Now let's go check and see if the installation has worked. I'm going to go down to my computer, and I'm going to look on my hard drive and I'm going to look in program files and here I find a new folder named Java. This is in the 64-bit programs not in these older 32-bit 
And if I look in here, I find a bunch of different stuff. And I find that it's been installed just now. If I look further in here, I'm going to find some other files you might want to explore. Just to call your attention to the fact that BIN, the binary file, is where the actual Java software resides. This becomes important because here, this path is how we have to tell Windows where to find Java. And you'll see there's a statement in the code that I give you to compile and run programs that carries that along so that when we attempt to compile a Java program, Windows knows where the program is. At this point, I'm going to show you how to install the programs from the download that I provide which will give you the programs from the Java Please workbook. These programs are the ones that we're going to start using in video 2 to demonstrate how Java works and to give you the basis for your first Java programming attempts. So I'm going to go right now to the course website q123.us slash 200 will get me there. And at the website, what you want to do is go to Unit 4. And here, these are the projects that you can choose from for Unit 4. They're worth different amounts of points. You, of course, want to make 100 points at least. You could go up to 150 if you wanted to get extra credit in the unit. And here we have the Java programming project. There are two clicks for this. If you go to click this first one, you'll get to this screen, which has an increasing number of icons for videos that will explain how to download the Java compiler and then how to use it. There'll be a couple of more here. There aren't as of May 24th, but I'm creating these right now so that you can see more of what's going on with Java. But just these first two are sufficient for you to do the work. So these first two icons, you really should spend 27 minutes looking at these things. Here, when you click on this icon, you'll be taken to a video that explains how to download and install the Oracle Java Software Development Kit. And when you click the second one, you'll be taken to a video of the same type that explains how to actually run the programs, at least in the Windows 7 environment. You can run Java on a Mac. It will take a little bit different operation. It's a little bit simpler, in fact. But the setup may be something that you have to contend with. When you go back here, the second click at the beginning Java material brings you a download. And this download brings you all of these different programs and control files that make it easy for you to run these programs. This is a zipped file. Because I've used the Chrome browser, it opened it up for me very quickly after it downloaded it, just by my clicking on it. You really want to save this file, however and you want to extract it. The video shows you how to do that so that you can gain access to these individual files which are referred to in the videos. Click for download. And once again, I'm going to save this file. And I'd like to save it in my downloads. And this is a very quick download because there's not a heck of a lot of volume to it. Now I can get out of the web Let's go find this download. It's going to be here. And I'm going to locate it this way. I'm only just going to right mouse click on this and say extract all. This is going to put in this location the files that are contained in this one zipped file. So let's do that. This will create a folder named Java, please. And that very quick extraction produces this for us. Now notice where we're located here. This isn't really where we want this stuff to be. What I'm going to suggest you do is to click on this and click on the last one. That's 34 items. And then let's do a right mouse click and copy. Let's go to C and let's right mouse click and click on New Folder. And let's just create a folder named J. Now let's get into that folder by double clicking it. And here, let's do paste. And I've brought all 34 of those raw files 
that I downloaded and extracted from that one zipped file and they're all here now. And let me explain what these are. These are programs. Program names are .java. Here's some more programs and here's two more. This is a program that has a mistake in it. We're going to use that in the next video. These bat files, which stands for batch, these are commands that will allow you to process things very quickly so that you don't have to struggle with ways of setting up your machine. By using these, as you'll see in the next video, you get to compile and then run these programs. And this is just a real convenience for you so that you have a way of dealing with the intricacies of running Java on a PC without having to encounter a lot of arcane technical things that ordinarily get in the way of a smooth acclimation to Java. What you've now got established on your computer is the Java environment and all the materials here that are relevant from the Java Please workbook which is available in full form from Amazon but for CSC 200 I've already supplied to you the pages from the first chapter that is the chapter that's associated with these programs that have a name of A because it's really just that first chapter of acclimation to Java that this course is intended to give you. Other courses here at DePaul actually are dedicated entirely to Java. This is just to get your feet wet with it so that if you do take a later course in Java programming you can hit the ground running. Let's take a look at video 2 where we're actually going to compile and then execute some Java programs. Mm -hmm.